Hey y'all, it's Kat from Vector Academics, and today we're talking about problems on the math section that involve consecutive integers. This is a type of algebra problem that's fairly common to see on the first half of the math section of the test. Here's my sample problem. For two consecutive even integers, the result of adding the smaller integer and triple the larger integer is 94. What is the value of the larger of the two integers? So this already, this problem has used one of my favorite ACT math tricks, where they're counting on you to forget what they've asked for. Whenever you see them asking for a value other than just x, go ahead and underline it in the question. I know it's dorky, but it doesn't take any time. The larger of the two integers, because you know that means that you're going to want to choose the smaller of the two integers when you choose your answer. OK, next, we have to actually solve the problem. These consecutive integer problems rely on the idea that you might be so panicked on test day that you forget the relationship between consecutive numbers. As we know, consecutive numbers are in a row. So the number after n, n plus 1. We're not dealing with consecutive integers here, though. We're dealing with consecutive evens. The difference between 2 and 4 is 2. It's the difference between any consecutive integers. So we've already defined our two variables for this problem. Now we just have to go ahead and, and write them into the word problem. The results, so we're looking for a sum of adding the smaller integer, that's our n, and triple the larger integer. So three times, don't forget your parentheses or else you'll forget to distribute the three, n plus two. And that result they promised us, 94. From here, it's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and simplify. So you have n plus 3n plus 6 is 94. Go ahead and subtract that, and we get 88. 4n is 88, which means n must be 22. So here's the part where we're like, n is 22. Awesome. B. Wrong. They remember, that's why we underlined. They asked for the larger of the two integers. So if our n is 22, then our n plus 2 is 24, answer C, and we nailed it. If this has been useful and you'd like to see more ACT tips, check, uh, check out Vector Academics' YouTube channel or like our Facebook page. Happy studying!